This room still looks exactly as I remember it. I think your sister would have wanted it that way. I really appreciate your visits, Princess. It gets pretty lonely here with just me and... my bastard son. Head and Shoulders is here. Good. I've been wanting to talk to him. I'll go receive my guests and you can have a look around here if you like. Thank you, Duke. This must be my sister's secret diary, filled with only her most personal, private, intimate experiences. I shouldn't be reading this. Today I watched a young man strut his way into the royal court, and not so long after, into my heart. The muscles in his arms bulged with inordinate passion as he wielded his metal passion to victory. He was a majestic, virile, dangerous youth by the name of Hen Shoulders. I knew right there and then that I wanted this man, but how long before I could consummate my burning lust? Yeah, how long? Later that night, Head and I gave in to temptation. And it was pretty good. Head, don't write my diary. This isn't Head, this is me one his sister. This was such a bad idea. Oh, what's the worst that could happen? What if I get pregnant? And what are the chances of that? I am not the father of my child. No, the prince is obviously the duke's son. Why? He looks nothing like me. Head, you've loved my family like your own, including my bastard son. And I know that you were very close to Miwana's sister. I wonder if there's something that she might have told you that could help solve this mystery. Well, yes, I did love your wife. May she breast. I, I mean, rest in peace. Now that she's knocked up to heaven, I, I mean, not knocked up. Um, I mean, even if I did have sex with your dead wife, not that she was dead at the time. No, what I meant to say... We're under attack! Thank God! Um... Run! Well, my bastard son, I guess we'll never know who your real father is. Come, Migi. Let's get going. You're Migi. I'm Hidari. Right. No, left. Whatever. Just shut up. There's a time and a place for tentacles, and this is not it. We're not here for you. You're bait for Juan Valdez. You can't have him. Juan Sama is already marked as my territory. Is that you, Hurl? Is this the Juan Sama you've been telling us about all this time? He looks kind of short. Plus, he seems more interested in this girl here than he is in you. Oh, he's just playing the field. He'll snap out of it soon. He'll get the message when he finds the present I left in his shoe. These aren't gel insoles. I told you, you stink. Man, that Ziggy Stardust sure is lucky. What do you mean? He sure gets a lot of pussy. So who is this distributor of yours? His name's Durden. Tyler Durden? The irresponsible Tyler Durden? But wait, there's more. I'm the only coffee distributor in Java with clout to take on Starbucks and the beans to back it up. He stole my bit. So how does everyone know him? He's my betrothed. He's my arch nemesis. He's my local librarian. You still have a deal, right? Of course! But do you know what I love most about your coffee? You put a lot of yourself into it. And it shows. Great. Now, if we could just get down to business. No can do, my palm tree headed compadre. It's open mic night at Tyler's. Oh. The candles are warmed up. My. And the books are open! God. I call this piece Tyler Durden's Tyler Durden by Tyler Durden. Tyler. T. Tantric. Why? Why not? L. L love? O. Obvious. R. Respectful. Durden.
Durden. I must expunge and scrape my skin free of evocative rashes. Kidney saturated. Underneath is habitat for crud, filling my being, poisoning my soul. Relief lies in a sea of yellow. Must I bite? Bite I must. Too free or not too free the cutaneous layer of my anxiety. Restroom to rest. Bathroom to bathe. Why not urination station? Water. How many poems are you going to read? Oh, just the first poem in this book. How many poems are in that book? Just one. That's it. You suck. Your poem sucks. Your ship sucks. Am I forgetting anything? His hair! That's right. His hair sucks. Sayonara, suckers. Words I like. Super. Duper. Stupor. My neighbor, Mr. Cooper. Ah. Blooper. Head, come back. You're being immature. I'm not. R2. I'm not. R2. I'm not. R2. Never mind. We need to put aside our differences. I'm not. Would you stop it? Ha! Now who's being immature? You make me feel sad. No, I make you feel like a woman. some napkins and some Altoids my god he has a fabulous head of hair my god I have a fabulous head of hair <gasps> what makes you think you can walk out on my poem is your spirit so pure no sit your butt hey you making Whoopi back here?